Very few people can say that a dream has come true in their lifetime. It's a tremendous sort of astonishment that it's ever happened. I've hitched a ride on this little beauty, the Bronze Wing. She's a powerful little tug that's part of the Sydney Heritage Fleet, and she's taking us across the harbour to Piermont, one of the hubs of Australia's maritime history. This is the remarkable story of how a group of Sydney steamship enthusiasts were inspired to breathe new life into an abandoned wreck. And he said, what we really want for this, this museum is just one tall ship. So I said, where do you expect us to find a ship? And he said, well, you're young and uh, you know, energetic, go and find one. If you really wanted to find sailing shipwrecks, you went to Tasmania. There's a wreck down there that I want to go and have a look at called James Craig. Oh, he said, don't waste your time. He said, oh, said absolutely, you know, no bottom in it. Suddenly we came around the point and here's James Craig and she was just magnificent sitting there looking as though a mm, little bit of work she'll sail out of here you see. She'll come out of the water and have her hull surveyed and inspected and then we'll start the restoration on the hull itself. I think against the advice of the other people with him said we can make this ship work again. I think most of his fellows said that Alan's lost a marble or two. I'm setting out to find what it is about the James Craig that made her so special. Why were so many people prepared to give so much over so many years to bring her back to life? The story of her rescue and restoration is an extraordinary one. A story of hope, passion and commitment against all odds. This organisation is quite remarkable in what it does. The ability for a wide and disparate group of volunteers to keep a fleet of ships running is quite extraordinary. We enjoy the camaraderie of working together, actually, and that's why we're here. The community of people who are so passionate doing this is an amazing thing. It just gets to you that, yeah, I'm part of this team that keeps the whole thing going. When you look at a ship like this, where do you begin? The main team that was here after the uh, James Craig was launched continued on when they had the opportunity to start the, the John Oxley project. It starts with an interest and then becomes a pastime and then becomes an illness. You can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> there might have been people who poo-pooed in the earlier phase of the project, but certainly once we had a visible on the harbour, I've had nothing but enthusiasm. The Sydney Heritage Fleet has 1,500 members and 450 active volunteers. Starboard Holloway! Without them, we just wouldn't really exist. There are other ships of the same age that have been restored and just sit in their docks. But there's a huge difference when you can take the ship to sea and show people how it used to work. I'm not very happy about this. What the crew had to do was climb the mast in all weather. So they're sending me up to the main tops. Oh dear, I just looked up. Oh, it's just horrifying. Launched as Clan MacLeod in England in 1874, she rounded the horn countless times, circumnavigating a world where the cargo waited and the trade demanded. Abandoned and against insurmountable odds, James Craig would sail again. Every time we thought we'd got to a point where we just couldn't go any further, someone would stand up and say, I'll help. I get a lot of fun of, of, uh, out of asking people for donations. And, and people ask me, you know, how do you get these donations? And I said, you've only got to ask. And, and people can say yes or no, and you just run with the yeses and forget the noes. <laughs> This is absolutely astonishing that me and hundreds of others have actually made this happen. It's magical. It really is. It's magic to be on board. I mean, it was something that, as a, as a little boy, I dreamt of going to sea. 
North Atlantic roll, you know. <laughs> the old North Atlantic roll. Absolutely. And it was too, you know, in my prime. <laughs> uh, James Craig is one of the world's great sailing ships. A rare survivor of the golden era of sail. This great living ship, reborn from a disintegrating wreck, is testament to the generosity of so many. The hard work, extraordinary skills, dedication and passion of the ship savers.